Yesterday, we had a non-poison win, but it took a lot longer. All right, let's see what we got here. And poison is pretty consistent. Yeah, it's probably the best thing that Silent has. Do we go for the snipe here? If it hits big, it hits. So if it doesn't hit big, we have insurance. If it does, yeah. Yes, the answer is yes. So we're playing fast and loose until we get two wins. I think two wins is like a nice benchmark to start tryharding for for streaks. Um, Equilibrium is a very strong block. That's tempting because Cold Snap is Frost. Equilibrium is no joke. Okay, I'm already pausing right now to think about this. This is actually a hard decision, in my opinion. Equilibrium set up, sets up a lot of different things. It's quite powerful. I think the Frost is probably better insurance and his damage. Fairy, okay. Oh my god. Whoa. Okay, static discharge is really good for the, the hexagons, but Glacier is Glacier and Glacier is Glacier. We have Frost on lock, so that's pretty nice. We need to get damage now. I like that. Runic Capacitor. Oh my god. We also have Frost to fill it out. Like, okay, I don't have damage, but we got a snipe and we got Runic Capacitor and we have Frost to fill it out. I should just snap that. Wow, we're gonna need damage now, but that's quite a good, strong start. RP Frozen Knight, but Runic Capacitor, hello. I mean, we do have ways to fill it out with the Glacier, and it's not bad. Now, I'm looking at things like Focus Pot and Remove and Hologram, but none of it sounds better than this. Capacitor. Do I do Hologram to sometimes do Hologram Glacier to actually fill out the even more? Yes. And Zap becomes better because now we have a free way to fill it out. Okay, not bad. Okay. Rainbow to give us a quick way to fill up that runic. Now, loop is obviously we don't have focus, but rainbow gives us a quick way to fill up the runic and give us some dark. Man, interesting start. Loop is not bad either. I had better damage there. I wasn't keeping track. I was not keeping track. Oh my god. What the hell? I'm conflicted because the second glacier is quite nice, but ball lighting is exactly what the second wants at the moment. We do have two strike pluses. Hmm. I think we snapped the second glacier here, and as far as damage is concerned, we'll find other tools. But we, are, we are fighting two elites. Alright. I don't know what to say. I think at this point, I just shut up and take the good fortune. Okay, I'm gonna play around for any bottle here. Uh, Sarawan, what else is in the shop? I mean, honestly, Sarawan, you have floor what? What floor are you on? What cards do you have in your deck? Is it the first shop no card? Do you have something in your deck? Okay, uh, let me think. I can play around for in the bottle here. Grumman Knob is a little bit scary. I can play around for in the bottle and take damage and utilize it. And then we have Panagraph to heal back up, right? So I can upgrade. What's the upgrade that we're doing here for Grumman Knob? That's the problem. I mean, if you want a meme, go for it, Sarah. Uh, Prismatic Shard is really fun, but with the Watcher edition, it makes things a little bit more com uh, more diluted, so... But go for it. Ascension 7, have some fun with it. I don't have any good upgrades or damage for the, the uh, Gremlin Knob, so I would like to probably rest, but with Fairy in the Bottle, I feel like I shouldn't rest. If I'm relying on Fairy in the Bottle for this fight, that means Rainbow has to come up big, and I have to use Darkness for that.
Meme, meme it up, man. Meme it up. I mean, with, with Rainbow and all these orbs, maybe dual cast is a good upgrade because now we can like extract our orbs a lot much easier and it gets darkness because I think darkness is pretty important for damage right now. So dual cast is a good upgrade because there's a world where I do Glacier, Cold Snap, dual cast to evoke four orbs. Like with Rainbow existing, we're probably going to want to hit darkness as much as we can. It's not just a meme. Prismatic Shard is, creates a lot of possibilities that sometimes are broken or sometimes are not, but like it's, it's very interesting. It breaks the game in ways you can't really think about it until it happens. Rainbow also evokes three orbs. It's not, it's not, a, it's not a bad upgrade. So Dual Cast is a way to manage Darko a little bit. Rainbow is a similar concept in terms of how much it pushes. So rainbow dual cast something you can potentially do. Sure. Nah, on average you do want rainbow to get away, but maybe if that's my only damage. Yeah, all right, that's fine. Grab the nub. I get rainbow early. Or this. I think leech is more important here. The six damage. I wonder if six damage is gonna make or break me here. Uh, I gotta think about this. This is a hard fight. Are we ever doing Zap Glacier? Giving him two strength, a uh, six strength. Ay ay ay. Not getting Rainbow here is actually probably spells disaster. I think I'm gonna have to do. I think I'm gonna have to do. Uh, duplication on Rainbow here. We always thought about comparing the bottle being proct here. I need, I need this to go into dark. Can I, can I turn off the lights? Yeah, I need to turn off the lights for this. This is getting scary. Zap is interesting, but I think we have to do duplication on Rainbow here to win this fight. Zap. If it was doing here in the bottle, then maybe Zap provides that very useful damage. It's 3 now plus 8 next turn. Oh, I can ground lane, ground lane. If you kill another defect run, I'm gonna be okay. Zap gives me three strength, but I want to do duplication on Rainbow next turn. We're planning on using dual cast. We're planning, to, we're planning on using Rainbow duplication. Okay. Yes. Why aren't you here? Why? I live at 1 HP. If I do strike this, I live at 1 HP. If I do dual cast, strike this, I do live at 1 HP. And then if I do rainbow duplication. Okay, we have fear in the bottle next turn. Worst case scenario. But then I don't have a way to get rid of the dark orb. Ay, ay, ay. Six straight for the yeah, but so I can survive. I have to dual cast, and then I have uh, strike this, right? Dual cast, go for damage. Then next turn, rainbow duplication. I take fear in the bottle, and then the following turn, I won't be vulnerable. And maybe glacier and cold snap can finish out with the dark orbs. Sound good? Sound good, yeah. He has 32 damage right now. If I do dual cast, I have 33 block. I did my math wrong. Just lost. I 
could have swore it gives him only four. Why does it give him five damage? Why does it give him five damage? Why? I thought one spell gives him four. I just lost. I know that I'm... Yeah, 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 yeah. I could have swore... Okay. I changed this thing dramatically. Because I needed to get down to one HP here. So that fairy bottle gets used next turn. He wasn't on odd number, he was on... You mean if it ends on an odd number? Is that what you're saying? So 28, if you add 3, 31, it adds 5, okay. Well, I, don't, I want to fairy next turn because it's important for fairy to be a buffer here. Because now that fairy's not a buffer... This is this is a waste of fairy. It's really bad. It's really really bad. I would have not done dual cast in that case because the next turn fairy gets used and I can play double rainbow with impunity. But now I can't do double rainbow with impunity. Fuck! I just lost. Oh, was, oh, stupid map too. I was hoping one HP was relevant, and then boom, the next turn impunity. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean. All right. Okay. It's a ten block. Thirty-one. One, four, thirty-seven, thirty-seven, thirty-one, that's five, thirty-six, thirty-six, okay, he's gonna get thirty-seven. Let's get out another five. This box for five. I think I have lethal. Double check. I think the bone's big. Alright, so triple centuries like a balloon are free, right? We're, we're fine now. Stressful, but we're fine. Sorry, I freaked out because stupid math. Alright, I'll never make the mistake again. If it ends on an even, if it ends on an odd, it's going five. Okay. Alright, cool. We're fine. Everything's fine. I'm just adding drama. Alright, cool. I like Rip and Tear, but I also don't know if I need it. Because Rebound's interesting. Rebound could be useful. Rip and Tear, I like the damage. Although, we've doubled with Rainbow in the deck, like... I wonder if we just play around that. Both of you guys could be useful. I think I just like Rip and Tear here. License to kill GR Kilger. Thanks for the follow, buddy. Let's see what Rainbow does here. Rainbow, I'm sorry, Rebound does what? Rebound can do Glacier, Rebound can do Dual Cast, Rainbow stuff. Rebound, I think I'm gonna do this. Let's go. I kinda wanna fight here because I can get me in the bone, right? 
So adventure core, but I think this is better. Eight passing block. Sunder's big. Sunder is big. I like Cold Snap to fill up the Frost, but we already have. So Bullseye helps with damage. It helps with Dark Orb as well. So Bullseye could be my damage for Hexaghost. Bullseye, Dark Orb. That's a consideration. Sunder is really good for a lot of fights in Act 2 and Triple Sentries. Sunder's worse for against Hexaghost because my deck's kind of expensive. It's really it's it's not good with my current deck because I have double glacier and rainbow, so Sunder is really expensive cost. It has some snuck away insurance, sure. But um Bullseye is better for what the deck is doing in terms of damage because of the dark orbs and the the cost. Chill just fills up my orb slots, but I already have two glaciers, so I don't need chill as much. What's up, Timo Lanzareth? So but Sunder for Act 2 is probably better. Like, I like Sunder better than Bullseye for Act 2 for a lot of different fights because of my energy costs. It's okay for Super Sentry right now as well. It just, it's not going to be playable. I guess Sundial is sort of relevant, but yeah, it's not going to be playable most of the time alongside these cards. So I wonder if Bullseye is just better here because of Dark Orb. And we use that Bullseye for Lightning and Dark Orb against the Hexa Ghost. Because Sunder's going to be as good as a curse against Hexaghost. Although there is a world where, like, since I have Sunder, um, and a lot of call of Frost Orbs, I could just do Sunder for 3, which is going to be 32 damage. And I don't take any damage because I have Frost Orbs. And I'm still building up my Dark Orbs. And 32 is not bad. One second, I gotta get the door. Got a vacation from work for bad weather? That's nice. It's always nice to stay home. Yeah, I'll do Sunder here. But I, I do like the lock-on as well. Lock on's better for this fight as well. I think we just wait for Glacier or Rainbow here. But we can also just do Sunder straight up. And we, we're drawn into Glacier Rainbow and we have Sundog coming up. So it's probably okay as well to just do Sunder for damage. But we also could just wait for Sundow when he's attacking. So I like holding on. Not playing Glacier feels kind of bad, but I think the Dark Orb is more important here. And this would be a good fit for Lock On, of course. See, this could be a skill pot, but I mean, Sunder exists here, so why not use it? Eight damage is not that much. We could take only 5 damage here. Only 4 damage, rather. And fight's over. So in total, I'll take 12 damage, which is not too bad. I have dual cast next turn, so it's game over. We mean the bone, that damage is negligible. Pentagraph as well is negligible. Strike dummy. It really helps my damage significantly. And Consume is probably just Snap Pick. Now, do we care that Consume is... Runic, Runic with Runic Capacitor... With Consume is really good. Almost a Snap Pick here. The only problem is that... No, it's it's really good here. It's really, really good. I want to upgrade Center for Act 2, but I think Consume is just too good here. Yikes. Alright, I don't, I don't want to be any more consumed. I'm happy with this.
Gotta wait jump for Sundial there. Okay. So Seek versus Creative AI. I think Seek is just pretty proactive here. So what is Seek doing for us? Seek is allowing us to play like Consuming Glacier. So the main reason why your orbit's mainly looking not that fast is because you don't have 240 frame weight. Maybe t double check that. It could be an FPS issue. So take off Venseek and put on more frame weight. Maybe, maybe that can make the issue for you. Um, what is Offer 1 doing for us? So Offer 1 hits the Zap moment go cast in the future not that good creative eye for creative eye is interesting because if we have glacier and consume we can just do creative eye and scale up in elite fights and kind of just win seek is pretty proactive in terms of i don't have powers to play but it does get me my consume glacier which is pretty strong awaken one is actually so here's the thing about awaken one and defects um unfortunately awaken one just gets destroyed by power defect anyways if you have if you have frost and loop and stuff like that Awaken one still gets destroyed. You still outscale it. I don't even care about Awaken one if I have a deck like that. I'm mean, not creative by, it by itself, but like definitely if you have to defrag and loop, it's with with this much frost and this already, it's yeah. Let this thing once you have defects, once you defect, it has like a frost scaling thing. Like nothing really can beat you if you set up. Okay, so we do have. Consume and this allows me to play cons so we have our win condition We have sustain with me the bone. We have sustain with pantograph So pyramid is really good But inserter with the consumer already in the deck plus I already have the frost Like is this just the nuttiest three energy consume? Uh, inserter run like pyramid is really good. Don't get me wrong But inserter here is continual value of consume Is it fast enough? We're just getting orb slots for free. I would normally do pyramid here, because pyramid is super strong. But inserter is, I'm telling you, with consume plus already in the deck, I already have my focus scaling. This has gotta be inserter. Pyramid was close second. This is actually a good time where inserter pops off. I could do two elites here, right? Should I go for three leads? I think we can justify three leads. So, I guess the big problem is oh, slavers, kind of fast. We do have Sunder. We need to upgrade Sunder for slavers. And aside from that, the other downside of going for three leads is that I want to maybe get the shop here. And I can go for two leads instead. I would like to do three leads. But maybe a shop is worth an elite here. I can do four elites with the shop. Okay, do I want to go for three elites? Or this elite in a late shop? Do I want to go for late shop maybe? And go this path? Or do I want to get the earlier shop? And potentially go four elites if I'm crazy. Or three elites still. Or just two elites. Nah, I wouldn't do ectoplasm there. Not for those two options. I always have this to back me up. Guys, look, look, look at me go. Look at my power level. Look at me go. Huge. So barrage is a damage. Barrage is my damage. But Kuhet is more frost and card draw. I think barrage for damage is... Ah, here's the problem. We have a lot of strikes still. Barrage is good damage, though. Oof. I might not have enough for calipers. I might just be just barely not enough. Calipers would be good here. 
Yeah, card draw is quite nice, but I have three energy. I have seek as well. I think I just like barrage here for damage. Ah oh, man, I've only had energy. So if I had cons if I had Sunder Plus, this is huge for Sunder Plus, guys. I do Flex Spot Sunder Plus. And smack that guy. This might be me in the bone proc. Damn. Flex spot, Sunder Plus, Consume. Um, okay. So what are we doing then? Doing Consume and then... Oh man, this is a rough turn. This is why 3 energy sucks, huh? Because this could be a Consume Glacier turn. And that's pretty nice. So once we get energy, we're like, we for sure win. This might be me in the bone proc. So I'm thinking the best thing to do is maybe seek seek zap consume barrage and then we don't play a frost then we can always hologram frost when we do rip and not playing frost when it's bad I like consume seek zap barrage pretty proactive for damage could also do seek Flex pot, rip and tear. No. Getting frost up, but we do have hologram for frost, and we also have cold snap. Uh, I also am drawn to sunder, so I want to draw to sunder here. Pretty rainbow, I want to do consume, so I, I like this play. I was going to do flex pot there, but I, 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 I thought against it. I mean, since being the bone here, is, I don't feel as bad with me in the bone. I think Dukas has to be worth it because I can kill this guy right away. I can also do Glacier right now. Glacier is going to be 10. It's going to be 10 passive block, plus the fact that it's also going to be 3 block right now. So 13 block with Glacier. But if I do dual cast, I can potentially kill one of the pointy boys. It's like Pablo Rasta. How you doing, buddy? I mean, Sunder's still coming up, so I can, I can wait for Sunder here and get some passive block. And me and the bone still exist. Okay. Did I kill myself here? We're never dead. The point is we're never dead. That's good to know. That we're never dead here. Well, potentially dead if things go doesn't go, go our way. The fact that I'm relying on me and the bone is huge. Uh, that means we're gonna have to rest for sure. Alright, we gotta survive two hallway fights with a little life. This is a little scary, actually. I wonder if the better play was... The better play was to kill the guy right, right last turn. I have no frost, though. So we're never dead. We, we gotta do it here to see what this hits. We, there's a world that we are dead, if it doesn't hit properly. So now I have to depend on. Well, we're not, now we're never dead. If we do, if we do that, we're never dead, but we're close to it. And I could try to be really greedy. So let's say I, I, I strike both of these. I try to be greedy for lightning. I think we just do the play that makes sure we don't die at all, which is strike here. But if we really want to be greedy, we can leave both of them within lightning range. That seems pretty bad. So we just take the massive hit to the face and we get our meat in the bone away. Okay, I would like waffle now. Please and thank you. I would like waffle, please. Self repair seems pretty good here. How much damage I'm taking. Static discharge is pretty good. I think static discharge is good insurance for book of stabbing. I think I like self repair better here. Waffle, please. Okay. Region pot's pretty good. What does Bottle Tornado give us? Self repair, that's not good. 
Oh, I forgot to do Discord. Uh, sorry, I'll put that now. Uh, how long have I been? I've been live for three hours, four hours now. <laughs> Oopsies. So I want to get the region by here for insurance. I also love discovery on the defects, and I like medkit. Oof, discovery defect is so good. I don't know if everybody else loves discovery as much as I do. I love discovery. I love discovery. Discovery defect is quite nice. And I'm, I'm, I'm saving money for region pie. I feel like I, I just want to have some insurance, but maybe we don't need to with meat in the bone and self repair. We're just hoping that we don't die to these two hallway fights, which. Should be pretty reasonable that we don't die with what our deck's doing. Hi, doing, Ventus. Got a brand new dirt bike, but it is rainy, so I can't ride, so I'm here. Nice, Fablo. I've never ridden a dirt bike. I do you want to move one strike? Um, actually, I think defense are my worst cards. I think I want to move defend. I think defense are worse than strikes here. I have strike dummy and defense are immediately inferior to, to Glacier. So when we have energy, we're going to rather not have defense. I mean, defense are useful for certain things, but they're currently inferior to strikes. Medkit is very good, especially when I'm keeping the deck small. So I'm thinking medkit. I'm thinking just medkit region remove and maybe don't take discovery. But maybe it's better to do medkit discovery region. Maybe you don't remove it all. Discovery is quite good. What if I just don't worry about medkit here? It only really helps me mainly against like the heart and act four elite. Because uh, we don't really care about the wounds from Book of Stabbing. And like I don't know. Medkit comes online mainly in later on. Right now the days doesn't mean anything for me. It's good against the slaver fight, but the slaver fight probably gonna be dead before the time Mekka gets value. Like Mekka gets value really late in most fights. It gets immediate value in Act 4 early and in Heart. But do I wanna buy something for, the, for that late of the game or do I wanna just prioritize removing here? Like Mekka is good, yeah, it's great to have. Certainly helps against because I don't I don't have like exhaust aside from recycle so I guess the heart is quite nice. It's just a waste of, it's a big waste of money right now because that's not gonna really help immediately here. So I like discovery remove region pot but uh, I'm still conflicted about what I want to remove. I think I'd rather move defense, but always having the, the ability to block is better than having the ability to do some damage that doesn't kill because doing damage that doesn't kill doesn't feel good. Bottle self repair is definitely not worth the money. I'd, I'd rather find Seek on turn one, anyways. Um, okay. I'm supposed to play fast and loose here, but this is actually a tough choice. Maybe I'm sleeping in Mecha here. Okay, Medkit. Primarily good for like going long against Book of Stabbing and Slavers, but I don't think that's going to be an issue with this deck. Mmm, I wish I had energy. I like Rainbow better than Glacier here. New Cam? Nope, Cam's just been, been holding on. Been holding on by the skin of his teeth. Rejoice for the Cam. It's been holding on. I didn't get full value out of this. Got self repair out. I wish I'd get more value, but you know, we got some good healing, so I can't complain. And now we're immediately back in the line because we got loop. Now, no, so I, I would normally have to do potato cam, but today is not potato cam, but usually this cam starts shutting off, and it's not right now. I think we do loop here. 
I still heal from me. I was ho I, I wasn't sure. I want to get both. I could have waited for a better fight. I could have waited for a better fight to do the region. We still got we still got me and we got some repairs, so it's fine. Uh, I need to get glacier out. I don't I don't want to draw into zap. We did not see monkey power earlier. From I don't I don't remember seeing that. I can take damage for static discharge. I'd rather not take any damage. Um, we just left repair out. If I want to take damage from meat and the bone, I would need to take. Uh, currently, I would need to take nine damage, and that's not worth it. Once I get enter, like this deck pops off, 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 off. Pops all the way off. Let's have a loading. You know what you could do instead of a cat emo emoji? There, there's something here. Look, we're loading. You could do this. I'm, I'm, I'm getting more emotes. I, I have reached out to people to get emotes, so I'll make sure you get emotes you can use. Uh, capacitor? Do we want more orb slots? We have inserters, so it feels like it's not necessary here. And hologram means I can do glacier again, so when I miss glacier, I can hologram glacier to get frost. That seems pretty nice. In a world where sometimes I'm not playing glacier because of energy concerns, I do hologram glacier to bring it back. There's also a world where I do barrage for lethal or consume again, so a hologram is a second consume or a second glacier. And I have two glaciers already, so if I get a hologram, I should almost ensure that I always get a glacier or consume out at some point. I could also just not take it and have my deck be small, cute, petite. Because you know how there's turns where like I draw a lot of my stuff, but I can only play so much? Let's go, Odd Famous. Twitch Prime. Appreciate it, buddy. That's, that's you, Free Malachi. You're small, cute, petite. Send pics for research. Just kidding, to us. I know it seems hard to pass up Capacitor. I know it seems hard, but we've, we have Inserter, and it's actually, we only have three energy, so it's too slow for us. It's, it is hard to pass up Capacitor, but you gotta, you gotta keep in mind I have three free Orb Slots, and I have Inserter. And this is probably one of those times where you, it's actually just a curse because I have three energy I can no longer it, it's just it's a curse right now later on maybe yeah sure I can do it but not now we're already trying to barely keep up with getting consumed plus filling these out there's also this exactly so we very easily have too many orb slots at times or just enough perfectly actually storm is not sick here no so it's how they're gonna escape and I made up my mind. Alright, so do three elites now? So what upgrades do we want right now? We want to upgrade Sunder, right? I want to upgrade Sunder, maybe I want to upgrade Looper so Seek. Sure. Let's upgrade Sunder here. I can still do three elites. Wait, I can still do three elites right here. I just realized. Okay. Do we want to upgrade Loop here or do you want to upgrade Seek? Seek? I actually don't have the energy to make Seek that good. So no, what happened with the silent is we lost that. So we had we lost our streak, we lost our streak. Then we went on a post streak depression. We lost back to back pretty quickly, really loose. Then we got back in the silent again. We won, so now we're back on the streak, just like we were last time. So now we got to win the next two, get three zero, and then start the whole process over again. Barrage or loop? Or I'm thinking seek is probably still okay because I can do things like consume zap, but I think barrage or loop is probably more proactive. I actually like barrage better here. And we're gonna do three leads, yeah. Yes. I don't have AoE for this. Uh oh. Sweeping Beam is pretty good for this fight. I'm scared. This fight scares me. 
As much as I want to do Glacier, I have Hologram to bring Glacier back, and I'm scared. Consume, please. Oh god, okay. Did we just do Rainbow Loop here? Uh-oh, I'm big scared. We do have Sunder. We have Sunder Consume coming out. If you get me in the bone, that's totally fine. Sunder Consume, Sunder Consume. Sunder Glacier, not bad. Not bad at all. Getting closer to meat. Consume things. Thank you. I think I want to do barrage here. Push that damage. If I kill this thing though, um, he's less likely to attack. This is how much damage right now? Eight times six is quite good. A doozy 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 do we just do seek hologram seek glacier hologram glacier is that pog as hell so he's doing currently 48 damage we have seek glacier hologram glacier that seems really good i'm not making mistakes you guys are just crazy wait what about lethal how much barrage oh, wait i forgot to look at barrage i have zap so barrage is wait let me look at barrage Okay. Seven times what? Six. Okay. 42, 42. 42, 42. And then I have a strike. That's 84, but he has 96. Do I guarantee lethal with lightning? Strike is doing... I have two strength. I gotta use a strength pot. It's more. Okay, it's eight. Okay, so it's eight times seven. It's lethal. I get to play self repair as well. Matryoshka. White noise. Oh, that's not bad. Oh, that's not bad here, right? Eh, but does it blow our deck? Do we like drawing into white noise on average? Because... No, not Blizzard. Guys, Blizzard's a card? I don't see a Blizzard here. Blizzard. If I had to make a tier list, Blizzard is in the bottom section of that tier list. Um, so I'm trying to think. White noise. Drawing to white noise. We don't have card draw. So with no card draw. I wonder if white noise is just bloaty. But we have no energy. So sometimes just playing a power for cheaper cost is quite nice. But I think we'd rather just draw into our consume in Glacier, right? So white noise is a pass. Feels bad, but it's probably a pass. So we have pseudo AOE with Sunder and Lightning Orbs. I know it sounds crazy. I treat Sunder as AOE. Alright guys, I see Sunder, I'm like, I can single target one down, big burst, and get my return of investment. It's not, okay, it's not pseudo AOE at all, but the way I look at it is like... For the fights that care about AoE, Sunder is my guy, is what I mean. So it's not pseudo E, but for the fights that are AoE, Sunder is my savior. So the things that you're concerned about, little mini Gremlin, Sunder handles that. So you have more energy to do other things. Slaver, Sunder handles that. Um, Darkling, Sunder sometimes handles that. If you don't see what I'm saying, maybe I didn't explain it properly, and that's my fault. So Collector, Sunder handles that sometimes. It's not perfect. It's really not perfect. It's far from perfect. I'm glad it sounds reasonable. I, I, I say that thing about Gremlin Horn. I think Gremlin Horn is pseudo AoE. I think Gremlin Horn is pseudo AoE for the same purpose. Much in the same way that you just kill something and get the energy return of investment back plus card draw. 
Um, anyways, white noise escape. So do we care about the bloating of white noise here? A little bit. But if I upgrade Seek, then white noise is a good thing to bring back. So if I upgrade Seek, then white noise is a good target for Seek. But any other average draw, maybe I don't care about it. Oh my lord. Is this the Sapphire? It can't be. Whoa. Now Sunder is a big boy. Who do we kill first? I could just even be AoE, so they're all Sunder will range. Or I could just do Beam Cell Sunder. I like that. I like this. Give me meat in the bone, maybe. Maybe I'll take the meat in the bone here. So for me in the bone, I would need to take... 10 damage. So they're doing 21. That means I need a block for 11. Hey, what is that? 11 block. What is that? Me in the bone. I want to get self repair out. So what I want to do is consume. Consume gives me nine block. Nine plus six is fifteen. Um, okay. I could do barrage, discovery, defend. Whoa, that's a fission. Not relevant now, or is it? Because I can draw back into my. I get four energy. Okay, I draw into my consume and maybe my hologram for glacier or rainbow. Maybe efficient's okay here. The four card draw. What if, what if it doesn't draw into any of the holograms? And if it just draws into self repair zap strike, and then I'm really scared. But I have glacier in my hand. Yeah. I could have done brush twice. But I want to get some repair out. Boom! Look at that heal. Oh my lord. Alright, so is there ever a world we like double consume? Let me think about it. Hmm. This, is, this seems. No. Bad, bad, bad. Keep the deck small. Machine learning. Too slow? Three energy? Too slow? I'm just really. I have such small energy real estate. That's why I'm being mindful. If I had 4 energy, machine learning is probably a pick here. Double barrage seems not necessary either. Looks like a skip. Beam cell is interesting. So sometimes I get beam cell barrage, beam cell sender. That's pretty strong. That's pretty strong. I don't ever turn to a mind drawn to beam cell. Because I have strike dummy, right? So my strikes are doing 12 damage with beam cell. 18 damage with beam cell. With the strike plus. Barrage beam cell does significant damage. I think we'd rather just keep the small set up as we did R. Alright. Those things were not the worst thing to consider. Uh, so we're going to get the sparkle. We just fought the slavers. So it's going to be gremlin leader or book of stabbing. I think I feel fine about book of stabbing. Gremlin leader is a little scary. I never rest here though, right? I never rest for 21. Look at Kits McGee coming out of nowhere. I haven't seen him in forever. What is up, Kits McGee? Beam cell makes seek upgrade better? Yes. It makes things like beam cell sunder possible. Beam cell also makes barrage, sunder, rip and tear. My strikes all relevant. Uh, you know, beam cell wasn't bad. I keep, I keep skipping beam cell. <laughs> Back for a few weeks. Hey, thanks for 100 bits, man. How have you been? How's work? Yeah, cam, cam didn't last long, guys. It lasts four hours, and now it's gone. I'll turn it off for a little bit. I keep neglecting beam cell, and beam cell is so good. I don't know why I keep doing that to myself. Anyways, so we don't want to rest. What are we upgrading? Do we think is loop is better here because we have a lot of focus? Absolutely. Absolutely. We have consumed focus. Loop is absolutely beautiful. Uh oh, this guy. 
You're supposed to save me, not give me this. I guess aggregate is interesting. So I gain three energy and I can do defend, defend, hologram, defend. Okay, now give me something better than this. Okay, me and the bone. Hi, welcome to the team. Welcome to the team, me and the bone. Yikers. So we're going to be drawing into glaciers. Did I have lethal? I didn't check. I, had... I don't think I did. So now the elite is a little scary. I think I mean the bone exists, but... Alright. Oh boy. Okay, so what goes well with all this orbs? More glaciers? I'm doing lots of training. Some people can't even figure out how to take a crap without direction. That sounds rough, man. Busy teaching people how to take a crap. <laughs> well, I'm glad to have you back, buddy. This, so, skin is not good here until I get more energy. Now, genetic algorithm, is, there's still time for genetic algorithm to pop off, but I like Glacier. Okay, we'll do it. All right, little stabby. How you doing, buddy? Region, not too bad. I think I'd rather do consume first. Consume is more important than glacier here. Who knows when I'm gonna draw into it? Let's see what we got here. Oh, hi, yeah, 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 yes. If I did that first double energy, I can play consume and glacier. So I did a big poopy. Sometimes that happens. I think I like rainbow. I think I like hologram. Glacier more than I like Rainbow. Rainbow is doing 14 block here. I guess there's a world where I want to maybe hit me in the bone. I have to take how much damage? 7. So 14 block. I'm getting closer to taking me in the bone here if I do that. Rainbow Dark Orb is pretty relevant, I would say. But we also can just kill him with Zap and just full block. Because if I don't take any more damage, self repair brings me back up to 49, and then we have Pandagraph, which is a perfect heal. But the Dark Orb is not bad. Alright, so maybe we'll lean towards me in the bone here. We need to take 2 damage of some capacity. Which I think is no longer going to be possible because I have too much block. But it was worth the effort. Maybe we'll take two damage here. All right, so, so he's doing what? How much? 35? All right, cool. Maybe we take two damage here. I'd rather not, though. At this point, taking two damage is, is actually really good. So let me think. I've got 21. If I do dual cast, I've got 34. I take one damage. Not good enough. Okay. If I do defend, got 26. Take nine. Too much. Cam has been having issues. I have to fix it, but I don't know how to do it yet. Double energy here is going to be okay. So if I take one damage here, then maybe I can take damage next turn. Ah. I still have to draw into self-repair, right? Ideally. So dual cast defend, it's full block. I can take two damage by just doing dual cast, right? No, 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 it's 34, I take one damage, that's right. Uh, fine. Maybe there's a world I get one damage next turn? Is, is that gonna happen, or did it just full block? What's up, Nero? Yeah, but slash camera, we can fix the camera. I tried that, kits. I think that's why the camera's messing up. The slash camera approach wasn't good enough. So I did two things. Slash camera approach, I thought that was good. I remember my friend MacGyver, so I did the duct tape approach. 
Turns out sledgehammer into duct tape is not a good way to fix cameras. The guy at the store said to buy a new one. Alright, should we take one damage? We're hoping to get one damage next turn. Here's the hoping. Okay, we take one damage and we also get closer to self-repair. So, uh... More than one damage, unfortunately. But not much I can do about that. I can do lethal. At this point, taking the damage to self-repair is worth it. So we take five to heal twelve. Am I disrespecting this too much? Hmm. Am I treading on uneasy water? Because what if I die next turn without lethal? There's no way we don't get lethal next turn, right? There's no way we don't get lethal. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think if there's a way I don't get lethal next turn. No, because he heals for five, so lightning is not lethal right now. It's 16. He has 19 life. 19 life, 16. 19 life, 16. Not lethal. Not lethal, not lethal. So, there's a lot of outs, though. Just one strike. Glacier's not an out because it does. It does it, I get an orb, so Glacier's not an out. Dual cast is an out. Cold snap is an out. Strike's an out. Zap is an out. Uh, Glacier is not an out. Rainbow is an out. Hologram is an out. Okay. Let's go for it. We have a lot of outs. No, we know we have lethal this turn. That's not the point. The point is... We wanted... Meet the bone and self repair. We didn't get self repair. That's fine. Is there a way I can read this as well? Absolutely no way. Anchor. I got strike dummy. Guys, I was well aware of the situation at hand, and I had a lot of outs, so it was fine to pass, but no, we didn't have lethal. Nothing else could ensure it. It's okay. I don't think we do skim here. If I had energy, maybe yes. I think we skip here. Uh, now we maybe can think about going to fight, because if I do a fight, I can get a self-repair out. If I go for an event, what event are we looking for here? We have Juzu, so it's guaranteed event. Did we, see? we saw a lot of the good events already, right? Going to, an event, going to here means I can get self-repair and another potion because of White Beast. Going here to an event means I'm looking for something particular. I, I've lost track of the events that I've found and what I'm looking for. So a part of me wants to get the potion and maybe get self-repair out. But I don't have anything to scale like genetic algorithm. So it's just the self-repair and the potion that I care about. And then here, it's also a card in gold, right? But we got to think about what this could be. Night. We're healing for 25. So we're going to be at... Yeah. Let's see this. That's not bad. Vajra's, uh, that, that makes the... Uh... So Seek Upgrade is going to be better if I get energy. But right now, what is, Seek doesn't really have a lot of value. So maybe a hologram so I can at least always have the ability to recur. Or do I like Discovery? I think I like Dual Cast because maybe the energy part of Dual Cast is relevant. And this is a tough choice. Do you remember? Do I remember at all what I've seen? No, I actually, as soon as I leave a floor, I forget everything that happened in the run. I'm, it's always a surprise to me what my deck is. Like even right now, I'm, I'm surprised I have these cards because I've forgotten everything. What are we doing right now? I have a discovery. All right, so I think discovery upgrade is interesting because boy, do I like discovery, but. And barrage dual cast, they're two different things. Yeah, you want to barrage, but dual cast being cheaper is still relevant for a lot of things in terms of block and managing dark orbs and stuff. You can still have dual cast upgrade and still want to play barrage, it's fine. I could do self repair for act three, so having more healing on act three. 
it seems if I get an energy relic, a summon person would lose a lot of value because I'm not gonna really take damage. Seek upgrade is better for Act Three if I get energy, so seek upgrade is gonna be very useful. I might I, I probably just get it out of the way now because if I get an energy relic, seek for consume glacier is pretty powerful. But eh, I'll do that. Uh, hmm, seek is gonna be relevant later on in Act Three, Act Four. This is gonna lose value later uh, going into Act Three, Act Four. Discovery. Playing more than once is not usually the best thing because I actually like the way my deck operates in terms of drawing into barrage and block. So the best thing that I'm thinking about, if I'm thinking late game here, which I think I should think about late game because we're pretty strong, is maybe seek. Think about late game, baby. Like it bark. Still want seek anyways. Okay, so we're taking some damage. Now, did we do Essence of Steel for this fight? I mean, I don't really value this potion that highly. I don't value this potion that highly. What are they taking? He's taking Rainbow or Seek. Rainbow or Seek. Start doing damage on this guy. Take my Seek. Kind of a curse at the moment. I don't really mind. I would love to be able to kill this guy, but I don't live in a world where that's possible at the moment. I want to get Discovery out, but I also want to do Zap, Glacier, maybe. Let's see what Discovery has. Buffer, ooh, so if I can I maintain, so right now Glacier is 7 plus 16. That's 23, 23 plus 24 is currently 47. 47 is full block, 24 plus 16 is only 40. So full block, we have Buffer for the Hyper Beam if we so need it. Not bad for a day in the Spire. Not bad. Sunder is obviously something we want to do, but let's go ahead and get the Seek out of the way. Uh, maybe don't want to play Rainbow at the moment. Do want to play Loop? That's for sure. And let's start killing the minions. Now, if we're gonna seek something, we're probably gonna seek out the nothing because I'm actually kind of happy with what's going on here. Unless I want to get self-repair out of the deck, that's probably fine. I'll keep Seek. Pretty awesome, huh? Yep. Good stuff. It is the good stuff. Alright, so Barrage is going to be a win con. Still have loop, still have buffer. Flight's already over. Flight's over, runs very strong. We had one big scare, which was in the Gremlin um, Up fight. From there, has been smooth sailing. Hologram this. Vajra's making that a big booty slapper. We get Rainbow Dark Orb now. Let's try to get the Dark Orb going. This is pretty good for the Vajra as well. And we need a Fission Plus. That would be fantastic. This was upgraded. That would be kind of nice. But GG. Got Sundial nice and ready for Act 3. Now for Act 3, I definitely want to um, think about... Let's see what we get here first. Okay, Fission. Fission Plus. That's it. That's the play. That's the move. Sometimes it's even crazy. Like, okay, so Buffer is interesting. Let me think about this. I think Fission Plus is the play, but let me think about Buffer real quick. So, Buffer could fill up a niche where I don't want to take damage on the first two attacks of the heart before I set up, but I think we set up pretty quickly, but in the world that we don't set up that quickly, buffer helps me mitigate a lot of damage for certain fights. And then once we set up, we should be fine. But fission sometimes helps you set up, but also when you're already set up, fission gives you either the kill or allows you to, uh, it's, hard to it's hard to really quantify all the things that fission can do, but it's very versatile. Buffer can guard the 67, and that's one thing I'm thinking about, but... So, if we're strictly thinking about turn attack 2 or attack 3 of the heart, which at this point we should be, buffer, if I can draw it and with seek to enable it, is quite nice. And I think if we can just buffer that big attack, we should be good in terms of everything else. I think once we set up, we should be fine, but... 
for everything else, Vision is probably better than Hallway Fights if it's upgraded. Buffer's okay for the Giant Head as well. For Giant Head, I can have Buffer. That buys me time to set up as well. Turn 2 of the Heart is not always a big attack, no. 50% chance. Be back one sec. Uh, giant head. But the thing about giant head, I'm really not worried about that, anyways. I want to know if I get energy while I care. I'm gonna do this. Okay. We don't get energy. Okay, oh, copy your bro. We have energy. Okay, we're we'll back. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, I get the energy. Nice. Pantograph, self repair, me and the bone. Good stuff. Let's see if the camera's working now. Oh! Hey, is it there? Yay, it's back. Let's go. No, it's not back. Watch this wizard to me. I see a staff. I see spells. It's a wizard to me. It's a wizard in my book. If you got a staff and you do those things, I'm calling you a wizard. Think about it, monks are wizards. They manipulate time with meditation and therefore extend it, either extend it or either extend time or shorten it. And that's wizardry. That's black magic. That's black magic, buddy. All right, three leads. Can't pros again. Fuck. It, it lived a good life. So did we scared of a Reptomancer here? Hmm. I want to upgrade Fission. Do I want to go for a shop here? Probably. We have Juzu. So we, Juzu is three events. Well, what events are we looking for if we do Juzu here? I know Camp Frozen. I see that. It's unfortunate. Live a good life. We get a lot of upgrades here. We get Recall. We get an upgrade on Fission. Yeah, they're wizards, exactly. See, I don't know if you, you've meditated every day, but if you start meditating every day, some magical things happen in terms of perception of time and your ability to be in reality. It's just crazy. Uh, we can, you can don the mask, sure. We can don the mask, we also we like, we want mind bloom, right? We would like to get a free heal or a rare relic. I do want to see a shop as well, but yeah, let's do this. Listen, the guy's argument semantics. You gotta put him in his place, even if we're wrong. No, you're right. Look, it's not a wizard. But in some worlds, you could think of it as a wizard. Yes, I also got to be gender neutral. I am not the guy to be to be wrong with genders here. You know, I <clears throat> I'm an activist of all sorts. I'm beyond an activist. I'm, I I live a life where I um. Wait, fishing Brock Sundown, but. I want to just do Fission and Sunder here to end this fight. But I don't. Do I care about Sundial? Eh. Sundial's getting proc'd anyways, huh? Unless I barrage. I can't barrage. Mm. I can do Rainbow. Mm. It looks like it's getting proc'd anyways. I forgot to do Hologram Sunder. There's sometimes where we don't talk about things. We don't talk about that. Alright. We don't talk about that. I was supposed to hologram sunder. Just ignore that. No, 
Nah, gender identity is fluid, man. Gender identity is fluid. I disagree with you there. I do gen gender identity is fluid. I will not agree with you there. Uh, so overclock b ball lightning. I think you confuse it for sex. Yeah, there's a difference between sex and gender identity. Let's not talk about these things because, you know, I talk about like legalization or something where I, I say things that to me are not hot takes. And I can go for a very long rant and give you all my points and all my research and all my things. And, and, and maybe you start to agree with me why these things are not hot takes. But the problem is you get into these little conversations and then chat. Some people just can't handle these things where they talk about it. They start getting crazy. And, you know, look, these are not hot takes. But for the sake of stream and for the sake of chat room, it's like we talk about these things. You know, it's like, eh. I know I can probably control the temperament, but maybe other people can't. And for their sake, I don't talk about it. So anyways, so we got Overclock or Ball Lightning. Do we like Overclock for card draw? I think we need card draw here. I mean, our, our average turns are pretty strong, actually. Ball lightning is good damage, but I think we're pretty good. So let's, let's, let's focus in on what's going on here. Let's let's, let's just focus in here. <sighs> Wing condition, average turns. Um, overclock is interesting. I don't have the med kit, but the card draw is tempting. Did the burn start bothering me? See, this is what happens, guys. This is what happens. This is what happens. So, I'm sort of say something, kids, um, or just in general. Like, so you know those people who say uh, vax, like, you know the anti-vax people. You know the anti-vax people, right? So you've heard of heard of anti-vax people. How many of the people who are spewing anti-vax things are certified doctors or? Have studied in that field and know what they're talking about. What, what percentage of people are, are physicians, doctors, whatever, PhDs, doctorates? All right. Now apply that same concept. Apply that same concept to neurology, understanding the brain, understanding the, the nuances of gender identity, and whatever else is involved. So to speak with certainty about something is it's very difficult to begin with. But um, I don't know. I think th I think you can find some lines there. Uh, card draw is very good. And once I get the card draw and get things out, I don't really care about the burns. Perhaps it feels fine here. It feels right. But my point is. Oh, I guess you can know my point. Hmm. Fuck, man. You know, I, I'm actually distracted. I like it. Boom, done. We moved on. Ooh, who said that? Who called it? Who's a prophet? Somebody's a prophet. I forgot their name, but they are a prophet, and they should receive praise. Somebody's a prophet in the chat. Don't remember who. Why is this guy doing so much damage? Alright, you know, maybe we blooded our deck. <laughs> How much damage do we have? Uh, lethal damage. Is the answer. Cool. You know, I, I knew I could always fall back in barrage. I, I, I like it. More loops? Well, this thing, who's the boss here? So loops are just quite good with the amount of focus we have right or do we just care about one loop because we already decided we already decided that we're kind of uh some awkward turns where if we don't get consumed we're actually not doing that well if we don't get consumed but when we get consumed we're good so let's just get consumed first 
Oh, I guess that's a way to get consumed. Wait, okay. Uh, now we can take the loop. Okay, that's cool. So we do seek. Seek always brings consume. What else does it bring? Whatever else I want. Maybe loop. Who knows? But it's always nice to have seek opening hand. I, I can't disagree with that. I cannot disagree with that. Cool. So now, you think about spoon. Do we ever like the ability to have seek again with spoon or fission again or discovery again? All those things sound like good things with spoon. But there's also removing a card here. Like strike. I like I like calculated risk into good rewards. Is that a good answer for you? What about duplication pot here? Duplication pot, hold on to that for the rest of the game. Could do both, but that's a lot of gold, right? And okay. Spoon sometimes gives us seek, sometimes gives us discovery, sometimes gives us vision back. Uh, this goal could be used for better things. Compile for card draw. I mean, I'm tempted, but now that I moved to strike, now we have overclock. I think we're getting somewhere with the card draw we have. I would like potentially a seek or skim, I mean. We did see some skims earlier, but I neglected it on three energy. Maybe a skim now would be fantastic, but with seek. We actually don't need card draw as much because seek opening turn basically means that we have. I forgot to mention. Wait a minute. Wait. I forgot to mention about spoon. The beautiful thing about spoon is that when he discards, hologram can use that from the discard pile. So you can get the value of whatever spoon gave you much quicker than other classes. I totally forgot to mention that. Because normally you're like, well, Spoon sometimes discards it and I have to wait to the cycle again. But with holograms, you don't got to wait for cycling. You get it right from your discard. In which case, makes it much better. The fact that hologram can bring it back makes it far more better. Uh, but also how... So if it's only a little bit good, making that much better, that doesn't make it that much better doesn't make it good you know it just makes it better but not necessarily optimal is my point here i don't know it's kind of interesting i gotta make something interesting here so we have spoon and then sometimes we bring it back uh, i'm gonna skip and we're gonna look one last time i compile i'm gonna skip anchor is so nice here Oh, guys, not attack anybody. Come on, man. I think what I said was perfect in terms of how you approach a topic with certainty. But I don't want to say anybody has a mental disorder. I just never think... Look, guys, if you understand psychology, people and their opinions and their willingness to hold on to opinions and how they react when they disagree with something and the mental loops and cognitive, cognitive dissonance that happens when somebody believes something there's so many insane things that happen with opinions and what you believe in it's like it's nonsensical to ever even attack somebody in the first place but then for somebody what somebody believe in is like a whole other multitude magnitude of things you can't even control so <laughs> just understand that opinions are very deep-seated Right, anyways, let me see. We got uh, 25, 25, 35, 35, 35. Um, sure. These guys are rude. These guys are really rude. I need a vision plus here.
Give me a fishing plus here. Freedom. Freedom. So double energy. Double energy means we could do it with seek, right? Okay, compile. Eh, I don't mind compile. Eh. Okay, no, we don't want it. Okay. We skip here. All for one. We skip here. Okay, cool. Gamblers versus I think gamblers might be better than liquid members. I also feel like I'm not utilizing these potions that well. I like recycle. Make the deck nice and small. Recycle basically means I could start really taking control of this fight. I like this. What if my mom let me have that? Um, you can say I'm spoiled. I live a privileged, I live a privileged life. I meant to do hologram consume. I meant to do consume there. You know what? This is the time to use this because it's useless otherwise. Now is the time. Do it, do it again? Oh man, I don't know. I'm losing too many orb slots if I do that one again. I don't know about that one. It's tempting. Kind of like Barrage. Kind of like Zap Barrage, Hologram Barrage. Put that in loop. Put that in loop a little bit crazy. Could keep it off. Hmm. Nah, I'll say Warp. That's pretty strong. I don't need to. Do, I can just keep this on loop. Probably fine. Yeah, I like this. Let's do that first, actually. Should have done defend first. Cool. I approve. I big approve. Let's get that dark orb ready to go. Okay, Dark Web, you're so close, but I want to dual cast you. So, can we draw into Cold Snap, please? Thank you, sir. Now, can I go ahead and get my the mm, barrage back? Thank you, sir. Man, we steamrolled that bad boy. Ooh, that's a bad one. So, boot sequences with my anchor is 23 block. St we have Seek. So, okay, there's a war for boot sequence. Because, let's say I always want to do Seek, consume something. So, that means with anchor plus boot sequence, that's 23 block. That means I could always seek the consume and do whatever without feeling like I'm taking too much damage or sacrificing too much, right? Seems fine. Thunder strike with the uh, strike enemy. Yeah. Three elites. Uh, I was thinking three elites, but I was also thinking maybe just more upgrades. What upgrades do we want here? Vision. I forgot to upgrade Vision. Oh, why did I wait? Damn. But look, look exactly what I mean. Like we do always do this. Get the loop out. Might as well get this out. And we're not taking damage anyways. Eh, so whatever. But like the, the concept was there. Maybe it was a bad concept. Now it's just gonna bloat me. The idea was there. I meant to do this again. I almost fucked up again. I almost did it again. What do we got? Cool. I approve. Calipers, please. It would be good here. I want to get loop here, so I. Th ah, we're good. We saw a medkit. Yeah, I decided against it because it felt like when by the time medkit was relevant, I already won. And it's relevant in the heart, right? 
But like, look at that. Imagine you had a medkit there. What did it provide? Absolutely nothing. Now we can start talking about capacitor. Now we can start talking about it because we have energy and it doesn't seem as cursy, but it's still kind of a curse because inserter exists. So cool headed is card draw and that's, that's a worthwhile upgrade. I could upgrade cool headed, get some card draw, get some frost. It helps me avoid what just happened because I had lightning on loop the whole time and I could, I want to avoid that. Camera is frozen. Yes, it is. Let's see if it's ready. Let's see if the camera's ready. Let's give it a second shot here. Let's see if camera's ready. We'll give it a second lease on life here. Camera's gonna be messed up for some time. I think I have to find a way to fix it. Boom. Cool. The code is fine here. Region pot versus fear pot. I mean, I think fear pot is probably better here for the... Uh, we have copper shippers, so region is interesting, but... We can upgrade exactly cool headed and we can upgrade fission. That's, and that's fine with that. And we'll have the next gold four. Act four shop. Going this path means we get one more upgrade, but that doesn't seem as good. All right. Let's go ahead and do this. What do we got? No, not my puzzle. So now we have to remove. We gotta remove. Almost forgot. Now we're good. I gotta upgrade vision. I would have been time to upgrade vision to get everything going. Not good. Calipers! Calipers! Sundial's coming. We infinitely scale. We infinitely scale. Gimme, give gimme. Give Ooh, maybe fishing? Maybe fishing? Go off? Pop off? Maybe? I'm not opposed to it. If it was upgraded, nah, the upgrade doesn't really matter here. I guess the energy is not bad because then we can just like, we can play a lot of crap. USB heal fund. No, th yo, thank you, Jazzbot. I appreciate it for the 500 bits. All right, I feel bad saying I got the USB cable. And I think the problem is it's no longer. I think it's software. Thank you for 500 bits. I will use that for dog food. Yeah, I think the problem is software. I say think because I'm not even sure. Like, sparkle cam is sometimes flickering off. It could be the camera. Maybe USB is just a bad thing to do with DSLRs. Or maybe I have to upgrade to HDMI. I can try HDMI. HDMI cable fund. Anyways. Why am I thinking? I don't gotta think about anything here. Why am I thinking? What a stupid thing to do. That's a good fear pot. I should have done fear pot there. It's a pretty good fear pot. Barrage. Give me barrage. Oh, that's pretty good for barrage. Ooh. I think Fear is not as good as. I think Fear is better than Fire Pie here for barrage. Okay, well, equilibrium is a good, good power. I mean, good, good skill. But uh, yeah, uh, uh, we're kind of good. Uh, maybe I'm like failing to see something here. 
Blind for weekend. Right, master strategy done. Take that master strategy any day. Thinking ahead. I don't mind it at all. Do we do blind here? We can. That certainly helps. But by the time we set up, we can helps a lot. I'll take it. Should we save our gold here? I want to upgrade vision. Really bad. Now I also want to upgrade gold headed, but maybe lifting is better here. Go for another shot would have been another move. This guy is a doozy. So putting lightning on loop is okay here. So what are we doing here? Yeah, we can lift. We can lift now and then lift in Act Four, and then what that means is we have barrage as a win condition in terms of damage. And cool heading won't be upgraded. That's fine with me. Just having double lift for my barrage to just pop off for my damage and then I have block and spades. Still is fine to me. Yep, we have pantograph, so we don't really care about how much damage we take here. I guess technically we should have done barrage. Doesn't matter here, we're fine. Lift, but we couldn't go anywhere else. Uh, okay. We do a lot of frost. Blizzard's interesting. Blizzard Plus is interesting with frost. Still, don't think I need it. We just have Blizzard stuff. Prepare the matter because I have self repair. And we had a pantograph. Recycle, I like recycle. Recycle allows us to get rid of defense and start popping off with barrage more often. So do I have cards to justify recycle? Like, recycle, get rid of defense, start popping off with barrage and glaciers more often. So, I mean, I don't know how much value recycle is going to get. Like, it allows us to go really slow for long haul and go for like recycle defense, recycle statuses on heart. Maybe it's Maybe just for statuses is worth it. It's your favorite card and it's your birthday. Ah, uh, but Lego Barrage is better. Ah, uh, it's either Recycle Pass here. I can see value in it, sure, why not? Okay, did we duplicate Loop or Seek? There's a lot of options here. I think upgrading consume is not worth it. Duplicating is not worth it because we have hologram to do it multiple times. We do it on first turn always. We lost on the defects, which was really unfortunate. So we have, we're making a new streak. I don't know if it, it doesn't keep the bottle. I get two seeks, but I don't get two bottles. So I think getting another loop would be quite nice. That's a lot of block. It goes really well with my consume. Seek gives me more consistency. 
barrage. So fission gives us more consistency, and so does seek. Like they should give us card draw and the ability to do more things. Loop is just better scaling with the consume. Cool. We got consume anyways. Cool. I could do loop cold snap here. Actually, I could do laser fission. And the whole point is I want to get... Wait, I like loop... Uh, maybe I like loop loop fission. And I want to get frost and loop. Or do I just... Let's do glacier anyways, even though it doesn't fully block. Let's do glacier for next turn. I don't want to get rid of my dark but I want to consume again. I guess rid of my dark but maybe I don't care about that. I want to get loop out. Nice shader. <clears throat> I don't care about dark over here then. Both loops now. I'd rather perfect this fight. I want to get frost and loop. It, it's surprising how often I don't have frost and loop. It's kind of crazy to me. E to end. Let's get dark up. E to end. Black Star is amazing. Good start. Oh, the lightning's gonna. I guess lightning's kind of awkward here. Oh, that's awkward. To be care. I need to be awkward here. Well, here's what it is. It's kind of tempting. It's kind of tempting. Foolish, foolish, foolish. Ghoulish, foolish, moolish. I can take damage and still be totally fine. Yeah, I wish I could see you in. I fall asleep. 
Fidget wins. Fidget wins. Is that consumer so strong against this fight? Uh, so this guy's kind of screwed, huh? I really want to get. I want, I want energy so I can do. Wait, hear me out. I really want energy so I can do consume hologram consume. How do I get energy here? I would have to recycle Sunder. I guess fission gives us energy. I think we do fission now. Hey, let me get frost on loop. So we do fission now, yeah. But then we won't end up with. Then we don't end up with the. Uh, ah, but then we don't end up with frost. So if I do that, I get rid of my frost. Let's see what we draw first. This solves the problem of having Frost on loop. Let's see what this draws. Yikes. Maybe next turn this is better, or maybe... Or maybe this is just fine to do Hologram Glacier now. I would like to do Hologram Consume, but having Frost is a little bit dicey. So if we found Frost there, that was totally fine, I can consume again. Now loop is just proactive always. Having proactive loop is quite nice. Oh, I don't have energy for consume. I should have done consume again. I always forget. Man, I should have done consume. Consume is so powerful here because the guy's about to multi tech. Okay, that's unfortunate. Yeah, that was supposed to be consume there. What I'll what I'll do to compromise is I'll do this to compromise. I'll, I'll, I'll do that. I guess pleasure was not bad there. So we don't play loop here. Maybe we can afford to do loop here. How much damage we're we taking? We have. I don't care about perfect time. We have pentagraph and we have healing. I don't really care. So I think maybe we do do one loop. Do 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 do. We do do do. 32, 40, 43. We currently have. 30 block, 30, 30 45 block. We're fine. Uh, cool. So now we do E to end yet again. It's tragic. Tragic for this poor man. You know, this guy deserves better. This bird deserves better. Kinda wanna do this. Tragic, the things we do for love. Alright, so look at Rainbow and End. Or do this, this works. I don't mind that. Alright. So we end on this guy. In fact, maybe we get two Dark Orbs here. Although the second phase is going to be super easy, so... I mean, I guess we do this. Getting rid of defense makes this fight a breeze. You know, maybe the Dark Orb is not for this phase. The Dark Orb is for the next phase. Yeah, I figured it out. Well, that's the ticket. Dark Orb for the next phase. Cool. Hmm, you know what? I don't want rainbow anymore. Actually... 
What do you think about Rainbow Cure? All I want is Barrage and what? I want to recycle the burns. Rainbow gets into Dark Orb. That doesn't matter. I guess I don't need Strike. I guess we don't need anything. I guess we just win. That should have been cool. This book can handle Act 6, yeah. Somewhat. Took a long time though. I was supposed to fail I was supposed to fail fast and then I, I ended up I ended up playing kinda slow. But it's fine. Cause we have two we have a two win streak on the board. Now let me not be overconfident. Alright, lest I die to act to the to the heart. Alright, let's not be overconfident. But it looks like two zeros on the board. Twenty four hundred. Okay, lift. We lift, right? Was there an upgrade that we were like, oh man, that'd be cool upgrade. Was there something we were looking at? Like blind plus sometimes? And cool headed maybe? Or recycle? But I like lifting. Feels proactive to get that barrage damage. Recycle, it might help me, because you know what? Voids exist. And getting energy from Recycle would help with some of the cards that I have. But I just like lifting to get Barrage to be my damage and more. Because we do have a portion of Capacitor as well. Or Capacity. And Lift is quite nice. Yeah, I like it. What do we got here? Boom Shakalaka. How about three loops? Secret Technique is interesting. Three loops remove. That sounds like a nice boy band. Wait, scratch that. Discard my potions. Speed pot ancient artifact. Or discard fear pot. Get the ancient pot. Stop the vulnerable. Dolly's mirror here. If I stop the vulnerable, there's no way I lose. There's no way I lose. So what would we add another of? Maybe we add another seek at this point. Silent run lose? What? You watching me? I, there was Silent run at his one was, was beautiful. How do you forget? Yeah, we just, we won the last one, Silent. So we're back into zero here. Another fish that allows me to... Yeah, but I think a Seek would allow me to do what? Get loops out quicker? If I get the Seek, I get loops out quicker? Boom. Remove the strike at this point. Maybe remove a defense. Defense are not that good. No, this is for two zero. I did lose the six zero streak, yeah, but or the five zero streak. But we did just win the one we just played. We just won the southern one. And jazz about that we didn't. Yeah, I'll fix title. I'll fix title. I mean, do I care about strike at this point? Like, I, I guess I don't care about strike. Strike enemy is cool and all, but it, damage might be relevant against this. Uh, this actual elite might be relevant. This fight's. I mean, self repair. I don't need it. I don't need self repair. I don't need self repair. Get rid of it. We figured it out. Yeah, we don't need self repair. Am I being greedy by saying I don't need to prepare? Because what if I take damage from this elite? It would be kind of nice, right? But I have Pantograph, so I have to take more than twenty-five. I have to take more than twenty-five damage for self prepare to be. We don't take self prepare. We just get rid of it, right? I don't have pellet, so it doesn't matter for that purpose. And it only matters if I take thirty-two damage against the elite. And if I take thirty-two damage against the elite, well, then I suck. Straight up. Then I suck.
Okay, I had a huge brain play. Huge brain play. I seek out the hologram, put it on top of the deck, thinking ahead so I can do hologram calipers next turn. I mean, hologram consume. That's stupid, because we want frost. Forget what I said. Not, not big brain. Now, if I do... Well, I guess I could do this. Actually, it is big brain. So now I could do... Consume Seek, seek out the Glacier, and then maybe something else to put Thinking Ahead on top. So what would be really nice to have on top next turn for damage? Fission? So I could do Seek, and then put Fission on top so that next turn I take no damage? Yes, right? So we, now, now, we're, now we're thinking about what do we want on top? And I'm thinking, I'm thinking Fission, right? Seems to be the most proactive. That makes sense. Double loop will be interesting. Fission seems to be the smartest thing to bring on top. Well, maybe Master Strategy is better. Because Fission gets rid of your frost, but Master Strategy just gives you card draw. The fission gives you energy. Ah, uh, what's smarter, guys? Can we set up a barrage lethal? Because Barrage has 8 damage right now, right? So Barrage is going to be currently 16 per orb. Don't forget that. Yeah, I'll fix title. I know, I know, I know. Hmm. I'll do this. Small brain. Decent brain. Sort of okay. Now Vision is our, our boy. And boy, do we need it. And boy, do we need it. Okay, Hologram Consume or Hologram Double Glacier. Let's take a look at the math. So, so Glacier is currently doing... So we got... Okay. Not bad. 36 block. We need a block for 60. I'll do Glacier again. It's another 20 block. 23 block. So we're at 36. 23 block is uh, 59. We're close to have full block. If I do consume, this gives me an extra six. I like this better. No damage taken. And now we have Barrage still ready and willing to go and pop off. Full block. And this has to be something to think about. Let me just point that out there real quick. If I do Barrage Thunder, do I have lethal? Let me see. 4 times 16 is 64. 64 plus 40. This won't be 42, it's be minus 8. So 64 plus 34 is lethal. Wow. My like deck slaps. I want to find loops. Got one loop. Alright, GG. Nice. Nice. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Jesus Christ. Slow down, sir. Now, I guess I would have to take 30 damage for this to be, you know, pentagraphs exist. It would suck if I lose in the heart, huh? That would suck. That would really suck, wouldn't it? I wouldn't like that. That would be no bueno. The artifact on the vulnerable seems so so clutch. How can I lose with artifacts for the vulnerable? How could I lose? Art of War is great. More overclock seems not necessary. Art of War is fine. I like it. I don't want region. Seek, seek. I guess we do. Oh, look at the symmetry. Look at the symmetry. The one cost in the middle. The zero cost on the sides. The double seek. Take a picture. This is symmetry, baby. We don't need darkness. Okay. So. We could do a similar thing we did last time. Well, it's not lucky. I have seek bottled anyways. So getting second seek is just. It's not even that good. It's convenient, but not that good. We're always consuming here. Now, I could do something like this. I could do blind thinking ahead for the second seek so that I can guarantee get the blind next turn. Is that my best course of action? 
for the turn two and turn three. Because we have thinking ahead and we have seek, we gotta think about what's the best thing we want on the next turn. So we can guarantee weaken, we can guarantee fission, we can guarantee master strategy. I would like to get the loops out, but I can't. There's a role where you do seek and double loop, and we can argue to ourselves, okay, once double loop is out, sure, I don't have any frost right now, but with two loops out and consume, we win the fight. I think we'd rather be more proactive here. We can recycle the Sunder and get the ability to play more cards, like Hologram. So we could do Consume Sunder, Recycle Hologram. And then what we could do is play Consume twice this turn. So we have no Frost up, but we have six Focus, turn one. Don't know if I like that. Consume Sunder, Recycle Hologram, Recycle the Sunder, Consume twice. If we just play a Glacier, get some Frost. Can I ever put it on loop? I could put Fission on top, I guess. I can put Fission on top for loop. So if I get double loop and Fission, that will give me the energy to play loops and have Frost. So if I do Consume Glacier, and then loop Fission. How about that? How about that? How about we just get a small little fission just to set up? Is that maybe master strategy is better? Um, but fission gives us the energy. That's the important part in the block. But then we won't have frost anymore. Uh, maybe we win no matter what, guys. We have so much. Uh, what if I do rainbow? So what if I do rainbow consume and then I do fission loop and then I just get as much um, card draw as possible and then I play my frost with loops. Do you want to do Fission now? Because Fission could be a lot more useful. Later on, Fission could be like crazy block or lethal damage. But I'm of the belief that if I get set up, I just win. I, I'm of the belief if I just get set up, I win. So maybe Fission is fine for turn one. Oh, GG. GG, friend, it was fun. GG, friend, it was fun. GG, it was fun. Smile you later, buddy. Smile you later, buddy. Good luck. Full luck. Block. There's my loop. Barrage next turn. When I'm not weakened. Barrage when I'm not weakened. Not time to push for, not to push for damage. Ah, uh, when I'm not weakened, that's good damage, but I want to do hologram consume so bad. Oof. I want to do Hologram Consume so bad, but then I can't play Glacier. So I want to do Hologram Consume Glacier, but then I can't do Barrage, which is huge damage. I could always do it next turn. Ah, I can't. I don't draw into it next turn. Maybe we just get all our focus now and we, we, the damage will come later. I have Akabeko, that's why. That's why I did not attack. Yeah, weapon's frozen yet again. Time to give it a break. I guess I'll do this. I, I think waiting for Akabeko is bad now. It's bad to wait for Akabeko now because we just need to charge damage. 
I was waiting I could back up for, for Barrage, but at that point it's bad. Unfortunately. This guy push damage and we win. I get a dark orb out here. Now as much we do much as much barrages as we can and we win. I'll get another I'll get another little cheeky lightning orb out. And our damage is coming in spades. We call this above the curve. We are currently way above the curve. I wanna find barrage. This is above the curve, curve, curve. There's a curve and a parabola. This is it. We're all the way up there. Bravo is going down, right? Okay, whatever, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. I want to get the darkest out now. Might as well, right? Putting lightning on loop. Did I just kill myself? Do I care? We have so much life. Does it matter? Double glacier coming up. It might matter, actually, next turn. It might matter. Because... It's a big hit. Or do we have lethal? Close enough, right? Are we still close to lethal? I didn't kill myself, did I? That was the wrong turn to put, get it off frost. Did I kill myself? That was the wrong turn to get it off frost. I ruined perfect, but also that was the wrong turn to get it off frost. We didn't kill ourselves, but yeah, that was uh, that was stupid. We're fine, but like, yeah, that was the wrong trinket out for us. Let me just put that out there. We had perfect, so we get a worse score now. That's kind of sad. Yeah, that was scary, guys. Uh, so don't get things out for us, okay? That's stupid. I could have had perfect in this fight. Oh well. Oh well, it would have been another perfect, beyond perfect, that would have been a, like an extra, what, 150? Mm, it's okay.